Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? It's an amazing time. That cheat at the zoo called you a pussy. But we all know cheetahs never win. Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? I'm fucking down. I can't try to love you. Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. You, um, trust the woman or dance with a crocodile. I'm processing the most triggering breakup I've had in nine years. Excuse me? What would you rate me out of ten? Uh, five. Five? Only a five? <laughs> what are you, Davey? Nah. Why? You don't look like the dominant kind of guy I like. You wanna go find one though? Yeah, let's go. Would you date me? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep speaking facts, man. I agree with everything you said. I can find an ick in anything. You could walk up the stairs funny and I'm out. Yeah, but well, that's just immature. It's, it's not immature. Oh, I'm so fussy. That's immature. It's not. That's so immature. It's not. The way, the way a man walks. Yeah, because that is a big thing. The way he presents himself. Imagine he's at a bar, yeah? And he's trying to get served. He goes, excuse me, mate. Yes, ignore Excuse me, mate. They ignore him. See you later, I'm out. <laughs> I am done. How are you going to keep my attention? You can't even get the barman's attention. You know, she's getting turned off by every tiny little thing. There's only one way it's ending for her. Cat lady. I popped my balloon after listening to you. Okay, down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you had therapy before? Uh, no, you want to be my therapist? I think you're too into that because I don't need therapy. I'm fine. Keep telling yourself that, darling. I can good. definitely afford you financially, but maybe not emotionally. He called. I don't even. I don't even know how the fuck I got here, bro. Oh, oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. Crazy. And as you run it, so he has the bitches the first of the month. Fellas, you need to take care of yourself and one thing that so many guys miss that they end up regretting later is neglecting their skincare. That's why I'm excited to have T. Shanley as a sponsor of today's video. T. Shanley is all about making skincare simple and effective for guys like us. With their level 1 system you get everything you need for healthier, clearer skin. And guess what, they've offered an exclusive deal just for you. When you become a member today you'll get 30% off your box plus a free gift. I didn't always take my skincare seriously but now I am and the results speak for themselves. If you're looking for an easy, no nonsense approach to skincare that actually works, T. Shanley's got you covered. Also, when you become a member, you get amazing perks like 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, and free US shipping. Just take a look for yourselves, fellas. If you click that top link in the description, you'll get 30% off and a free gift. If I wasn't gay, would you s with me? Probably not. Why not? Um, you have really pretty eyes. You do have really pretty eyes. Thanks. I'd sleep with you. Thanks. <laughs> I suppose I'd. Quiet down, you had your chance. Oh, well, if her friend does it, then she'll do it. If her friend thinks it, then she thinks it. Donut. Fucking asking, well, what are your pronouns? What do you think my fucking pronouns are? Take a fucking guess. Take a guess. A few moments earlier. Do I look like a boy or a girl? Is this a test, sir? I think you're a boy. No, I'm a girl. Okay. Okay. What do you think you look like? Sorry. No. Just ugly. Okay. 
that one hurt. Do I look like a boy or girl? He's telling me I'm a man. Come on. No. It doesn't take I'm rocket okay. science. He thinks it's funny. Right? It doesn't take rocket science to figure it out. I guess I must have a stupidity problem. You have to be more respectful. Yeah, you are not. You're not embarrassed to be ignorant and rude? I am not good in this. I don't buy that for a minute. <laughs> I think you speak English just fine, my love. Because you understood every other sentence we had. How are you going to tell me I'm a man in a purse and long hair and nails? You can't figure that out for yourself. Yeah, it's weird that didn't work. Usually all it takes is for a man to get a purse some nails and some long hair. And then everyone thinks he's a woman. Start taking long to reply. You're done. If you don't answer my <laughs> phone call, you're done. I text you what you're doing and then I go on Instagram and it says you posted two minutes ago. You're done. <laughs> And then girls be like, yo, I was busy. Nah, I don't want to hear that shit. Don't update me. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem with y'all girls. Y'all don't like updating the, that person that y'all talking to. If you're not going to update me. I just noticed the connection they had. The laughs they showed together, the way they looked at each other. And you'd think it sounded really romantic. But the only problem was I was dating Rachel at the time. I beg your pardon? Someone said, the way the bride reacts makes me cringe for some reason. Yeah, I don't think you're the only one. I'd say every man watching this felt the same. It's a bit weird, isn't it? If women can be paid less for doing the exact same work, why wouldn't every company just hire women? What? My husband really loves my feet. Oh, I love that. And so, like, the light was hitting him just right that day. And so I was like, let me just snap this photo and send him a picture of my feet. So I always say, like, when he says to send nudes, like, yeah. that's what he's getting, a picture of my bare feet. <laughs> I don't know if he's happy about that. Why would you talk about your husband's fetish on live TV and then show the pictures to everybody? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? If I was your man, what would I need to pay for? Uh, well, hopefully, like, our outings, our dates, presents. Not much, I guess. I wouldn't need to cover your hair? No. Nails. Hair and nails is not a must. That's on me. That's my duties. It's like me paying for your haircuts. That's your duties. But a woman isn't expected to provide like a man is to the woman. Right. But no, I wouldn't ask for that. It would be nice if they offered it, but I wouldn't ask for it. Okay. Now what about marriage? What about it? My phone is blowing up. Yeah. What would I be expected to marriage, cover then? I feel like, yeah, you would cover everything of mine. Because when you uh, sign up to marry me, you sign up to take care of me and provide me with everything I need. And me working is a bonus. But it shouldn't be a necessity. I don't think so. So when we're married, that's when I'm going to be required to start paying for your hair, nails, toothbrushes, blankets. And what do you give the man back in return? Everything. My soul, my energy. Our children, everything. If she's a traditional woman that wants to look after the home and the kids and she's looking for a traditional man that wants the same thing, then I think that's fair enough. But the thing is, a lot of these women want a traditional man but have no traditional values themselves. They talk about their soul and their energy. But I don't think a lot of them actually know what that means or what it means to give a man peace of mind. If she got that ooh wee, I ain't gonna lie to you, Ocho. That's, if she got that ooh wee, I'm touching bus. That, uh, that's just a mind game. You got a mind for yourself. If you're in, listen, if you're in the ooh wee, you got to think football, think sports, think some completely opposite of what nope. you're doing. I'm help you nope. last longer. Hey, I'm telling you, if you got that ooh wee, I'm Mr. TMB. Touch and bust. What did he say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Pull off the poster. Oh, no. Don't drop it. Pull off the poster. No, no, no. 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 As this comment says, we are not ready for World War Three. Unbelievable. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah, yeah quickly. No, that's the... Quick! <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you call a doctor, please? Oh, oh. Your date made you wait outside the bathroom to hold his drink and wait, so you blocked him and left. He dodged a bullet. Have you ever hooked up with two people in the same night? Yes. Ooh. It was one at the beginning of the night, one at the end? Yep, yeah, yeah, I got bored. First one didn't do it for you. First one didn't do it for you. You had to go for round two. Yeah, had to go for round two. Crazy to think that's potentially some poor soul's future ex-wife or mother. 
Poor bastard. So, like two days ago, I got arrested by my ex-boyfriend because I was banging on his window because he got mad about me sleeping with some other guy. What? Either way, he got me arrested. I was handcuffed. And I was so sad and I was so mad. But I still banged on his window multiple times. <laughs> The guy that handcuffed me, he was super cute. And I was like, hey. There's only one place this lunatic belongs. She belongs to the streets.